Hi, my name is Carrie Nikorchuk. I would first like to thank Northampton Public TV for the opportunity to speak today. It's a great way to get to know candidates for office and a great way for voters to get a snapshot look at everyone. So as you know, I'm running for an at-large position on the school committee. I reside at 130 Woods Road in Florence. By day, I am an attorney focusing on all aspects of juvenile and child welfare law. I act as an attorney for parents and children who have become involved with DCF and the juvenile court. My work in this area of the law gives me a different perspective on youth and families in our area. I see where the deficiencies lie, what underprivileged children lack in their education. I also work in the probate and family court on issues of divorce, custody, and paternity. I act as counsel for parents trying to navigate the system to help them in coming to a positive resolution to the issues they are facing. I was able to coach the girls JV soccer team for two seasons in 2005 and 2006. Personally, I have been married for nine years to my wife, Melissa. I have two beautiful red-headed girls, aged 21 months and four. Being a mother is the best thing that ever happened to me. I am anxious to add my perspective if I am elected to the school committee. I am certainly invested in Northampton as this is where I will continue raising my family and eventually, hopefully, retire. I grew up in Lenoxdale, Massachusetts, a small village of Lenox. I attended Lenox High School and graduated in 1989. I then attended UMass where I received a Bachelor's of Science degree with honors in economics. I attended WNEC Law School from 1994 to 1997. After graduation from law school, jobs were pretty scarce around here, so I moved to the Worcester area to work. I worked for the Worcester Community Action Council as the director of the Consumer Complaint Division. Working in cooperation with the Attorney General's office, I was able to assist consumers who had issue with businesses and in some cases needed a mediator to help them resolve their problems. Businesses sometimes also needed me to remind them of the laws consumers have working for them. This process was designed to limit court action informally for those who could not afford an attorney. In this role, I supervised three individuals and reported to the director of the Worcester Community Action Council as well as to the Attorney General. I'm proud to say that in that job, I was able to resolve hundreds of complaints brought by consumers who needed assistance working with area businesses. While working at WCAC, I began even working evenings at a local family law firm. I learned a lot working at that firm for the proctors. I learned how to run a business while practicing in the areas of estate probate, real estate, and family law. Working for the Proctors was a great opportunity, one that I hated to leave. I left only to move back to Northampton. I knew that my heart was in this area and Northampton was the place I wanted to put down roots and start a business and a family. After moving back to the area in 2000, I started my own practice focusing almost exclusively on child welfare law. Also in 2000, I became a parent to a foster daughter. Talking about moving right into the fire. Our foster daughter was a great addition to our family. She attended Northampton High School for a time and enjoyed her experience. Around 2004, Melissa and I decided to try adopting children through DCF. We attended the training and became certified as foster parents. Two angelic boys were placed with us and remained for about nine months. The court in DCF decided that the boys should be placed back with the child's youngest grandmother. Our hearts were broken but hoped the boys did well. It was a few years after that that Melissa and I decided to have our own family. Ella was born in March of 2009 and Mia was born in January of 2012. My girls are the light of my life. They are funny, smart, and always teaching me something new. So that's who I am. I would like to take that experience as well as the passion and diligence I bring to everything I do to the school committee. I believe I have a unique perspective and will bring some different ideas to the committee. The current members of the committee are doing a good job working to steer Northampton schools in the right direction. I'm hoping that if I am elected, I will be able to move the issues through the committee promptly while keeping the public informed and armed with the information they need to make their opinions known to the committee. I hope to be able to add a fresh perspective and a fresh voice to the already existing committee. If I'm elected, I will do my best to advocate for the children and families of Northampton, Florence, and Leeds, and always keep an open ear to all who wish to be heard. Thank you.